Good morning. Today is the 19th of September. I'm actually here for the 20th anniversary of the AR Online website at uh, the British Motor Museum here at Gaydon in Warwickshire. But just before the event starts, I got here a bit early today, I've heard that the Vauxhall Heritage Collection has been moved to here. That was for many years at Luton, but I think they've sold the building so that Luton Airport can expand or something like that. I can't remember the exact story, but it's something like that. So they um, moved the collection that was formerly at Luton to here. So we see cars like with um, number plates like GS, NM, BM, all Luton plates, of course. There's a, another Vauxhall downstairs we'll just take a brief look at um, at the end of the video, but they're all on this mezzanine floor. I thought it, must, it would be a shame to come here and just not um, have a little video. So we'll be shuffling, shuffling around, I've already made mistakes, which is what happens, you know. There's no, no, not only wind noise in here, because we're inside. I don't think there'll be any announcements, but uh, there might be incorrect information. 1909 Vauxhall B-Type Semi Racer. Vauxhall, actually, before it was bought by General Motors in 1925, was um, a brand of luxury car named after the Vauxhall Iron Works, which is by the Thames in uh, southwest London. But then they moved to a factory, um, I think it was around the time of this car here, the 1904 Vauxhall 6 horsepower. From what I remember, it looks like a bit like a Didi on Bouton, something like that. I don't think these are in any particular order, um, but whoa, yes please, <laughs> Lotus Carlton, wow, I haven't seen one of these in a long time, but they are actually green, it's, a, it's like a dark metallic green, which is absolutely beautiful, and as the information here says, it's a 3.6 litre six cylinder, cam in head, top speed 176 miles an hour, and uh, 377 brake horsepower. Uh, yes, the uh, cam in head engine, which was used in um, a lot of Opals and Vauxhalls in the um, 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's a mean kind of car. So is this um, Vauxhall VXR8, based on a Holden, of course, GTSR. Let's have a look at what year this is crazy crazy pain I mean they don't even make Holden's anymore they've stopped making them so again this is another piece of history it's a 2017 so it'll be uh, quite late on in production life the, the color is much brighter green actually in real life than it looks on camera it looks like a more sort of uh, mint uh, sort of uh, like a mint green on camera it's not it's a, it's, a, it's a very bright green 2011 Vauxhall Ampera um, the first plug-in hybrid to be marketed in this country along with the Chevrolet Volt actually just a rebadged Volt, 1.4 engine um, with also electrics assistance and these are now incredibly incredibly important in the UK car market. The X plates of course like a, a lot of um, Vauxhalls these days although they're not the, the, um, the, uh, the prefix doesn't actually come from the area they just put those on um, just to make them stand out. 1968 Bedford CA van, quite a late CA. They were um, discontinued in 69. Race support vehicle, interesting. I always remember one that looks like this from an episode of The Champions, if you remember that series. Here we go, BM, so another Vauxhall supplied car. 1997 Calibra V6 SE9, 168 horsepower, 2.5 litre. Quite a late Calibra. They introduced in 89 from memory. BBS wheels. Just don't find cars in boxes range like this anymore. And this, the Mark 1 Cavalier. It's a very late one. It's a 1980-2000 GLS. I think this is a top of the range one. Two litre engine. All sorts of kind of luxury as well. 
Mm, red velour seats, very much of the period. <laughs> Always makes me sort of laugh seeing this Walsley kind of marooned at the top of here. But yes, we filmed here so many times anyway, I'm not going to go into uh, one of the cars in the normal collection. Queen's Garage Ramsgate, interesting. Ooh. Transcontinental. It's a car that was famously tested uh, by Mr. Seabrook on the Hubnut channel quite a few years ago. 1975 Vauxhall Victor FE 2300S. Always prefer the styling of VFD, like one in Randall Holgate deceased personally. 1970 Vauxhall PC Viscount, again a car that was featured in the Champions because the Champions actually had a lot of Vauxhalls in it. This is a slightly later one than ones they would have used for Champions, those were normally 66, 67 models. 3.3 litres, six cylinder. This is the predecessor to, uh, to that one. This is. Uh, I think they called this the PB Cresta. Typical kind of uh, mid 60s two tone paintwork on this with the, with the roof. Yes, yeah, a 65. So that's a very late one. A facelift as, uh, as well. The early ones looked a bit different. PB, PC. FB Victor from 1964, Deluxe Estate. This is a, like a late FB because 64 was the time that the 101 or, or FC Victor came in. These cars are pretty rare. But they were rare back in the day because the rust that used to uh, appear on voxels was legendary. Just like on this uh, Victor. Now this would be a, a later one because the original original uh, Victor, when it came out, I think it was 57, had an exhaust that came straight through the bumper there. Very, very, very typical colour of uh, the period. I think this will be ooh, but 1960, something like that. Yeah, 61, again, a, a, a late F-type Victor Deluxe. And then the PA Velox. They weren't always crashes, they were also um, um, the Velox. This was, I think, the uh, smaller engine or low specification car. I forget exactly. Uh, can't remember if, if the video for Ghost Town by the Specials was a Velox or a Cresta. It was one of, the, one of the two of these anyway. I think the Queen had one of these actually. At some point. Just absolute utter kind of blowout American styling. Absolutely crazy. Then something far more modest. Voxel Y then. This will be uh, sort of immediately post war design. Originally, I think, registered, uh, registered in the Netherlands with that sticker on it. Left hand drive, 49 L type Y then. It's quite a difference in styling in 10 years. Look at that. It's crazy. Something a bit more modern 2004 Vauxhall VXR220. Mmm. Chassis. Uh, based on a Lotus Elise Series 2, but with a lot of unique parts and uh, Vauxhall's own engines, but a similar engine to the one in this 2000 Astra G Coupe, the 888, so this will be what, 190 horsepower, this will also got a turbo in it, I imagine. It's pretty fast. G's are actually disappearing quite quickly now because they don't have a lot of value and most of them, I mean this one clearly does. Luton Plate VS. Oh, Mark 1 Astra GTE. 
this is an extremely rare and desirable car now, particularly in white. Uh, this was sort of one of the colours for sporty Vauxhalls in the 1980s. And this is a very late uh, Mark 1 GTE on a B, because they were bought in the Mark 2 the same year. Another sporty one, 1979 Chevette HS 2300. Looks very unassuming, and uh, you know, I used to travel in a Chevette when I was younger because the childminder that I had for years, um, my parents had a uh, more modest 1256cc Chevette. The really crazy one was VHSR. Um, that was even faster. Late HB Viva, 1970, was, that was the uh, time that the HC came in. My parents had an HC. XD, classic Vauxhall uh, press car. Uh, suffix. Cars used in Department S and Randall Hart get the seats for both XD as well. Styling I think is actually quite handsome with this sort of coke bottle line just there, a bit like a Mark III Cortina. Quite a small car as well considering this is sort of a family car and in these days you know family car would be something like a Crossland X or something. Oh. Is this a Forenza with a dogleg gearbox? 5 dog dogleg gearbox. Yes, yes. A droop snoot Forenza HP. 2.3 litre engine. Only 130 horsepower. 130 horsepower in 75 is quite something. So it sort of bakes on an HC Viva, really, but it's a little bit more exciting. Yeah, it's very nice. Hmm. 1926 Vauxhall OE 3098 Velox Tora. Look at those bonnet flutes. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Stylistic feature of Vauxhalls for a long time was those bonnet flutes. This looks at far more like you know, something like a contemporary Bentley or something like that, which is kind of what they were competing against at the time. They weren't the sort of purveyor of modest family cars um, at that particular time. They, they made much more sort of luxurious ones. Like this 1930 Vauxhall T-Type Melt Golfers Coupe. More flute action. I'm proud to be British and proud to be made in Luton. Nice green leather as well. Right, I suppose you'd better get downstairs and look at our final car. Here we go. More bonnet flutes, so it's got to be a Vauxhall. Be careful not to touch anything as we move past this pillar. Probably the most famous. Old box of all, it's a 1911 C-type Prince Henry. Is that a base leather interior? Oh, I do like a nice base leather interior view. Perhaps this is the beginning of the base leather interior craze. Further to the Prince Henry that we saw earlier downstairs, I've actually found some more exhibits from the former World Heritage Fleet. Here is an HCV, but it's a really late one. Um, 1979 HC Viva. My parents would have had one similar to this. I don't know about this colour though. That's, um, that's extraordinary. Wow. Oh, amazing. Vauxhall Royale Coupe. Similar to the um, Opel Monza A, this one. An automatic uh, cabin head engine for three liter in the middle of the restaurant. This is a bit noisy here, so it's, yeah, it's a 1980. So it's a 2.9 liter engine, that one. And here is a um, 
Victor 101 FC, 1965. Again, a car that was uh, used in um, the Champions. There was a, a bit out of state and also a BX 490. Interesting sort of lines, and of course a big, big bench seat in this as well. Another sort of earlier Vauxhall here. It's weird having a, having your lunch amongst them um, for this, but definitely bonnet flutes and things there. 1923 Vauxhall M-Type Princeton Tour, so pre-General Motors car. Wonderful. Gosh. This little Vauxhall here was a car used in the 1967 episode of The Avengers filmed at Bewley called the C3 Man. It's a 1905 Vauxhall 7.9 horsepower. It's the first one for Luton. It's in this colour scheme, this registration number when we filmed at Bewley for the, uh, for the episode. Uh, gosh, I can't remember if it's burning you too much or see too much. One of it's one of those, one of those. Uh, been September 1966, so exactly 55 years ago. Wonderful. I think we'll finish off um, with this incredible um, prototype. Wow. This <laughs> is a box. Wow. 1970 Voxel SRV concept. It's like a sort of Lamborghini or something like that. Extraordinary. Anyway, um, I suppose, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more extraordinary things. It probably would have seen the uh, video of the Air Online Gathering already. Um, I'll put that up first. Um, like this video, leave a comment below. And uh, yes, yeah, especially with links, I'm in the description below.